Okay, so we've created our Empire Permaculture Courses. We're going to build a membership site, and the first thing we want to start doing now is we're going to start building out, importing our keywords that we discovered. Okay, so we click on Silo Framework, that's step one, and we're on the Keyword Decision screen. You'll find that in the top navigation bar of the uh, Silo Framework. Okay, our theme is Permaculture Courses. We're going to be building a membership site, and this is our WR1 primary web ring. Now what you'll notice is we have four tabs. We've got the Keyword Decisions tab, the Import Keyword screen, the Business Rules and Filters, which we set up previously. This allows us to modify things as we need to while we're working on the Keyword Decision and building out the silo architecture. And then Manage Blueprint. Okay, so in this video I'm going to just quickly discuss the Keyword Decision screen. What we have here on the left is the Decision Tree. And essentially this is where we're going to map out our silo structure for the course. Okay, if we want to view the cost of the blueprint, what this does is it takes all the keywords that we selected in here and actually calculates roughly what the profit would be or loss would be on the actual project when we map it out. This becomes very important when you're actually speaking to your clients. Below this we have our demographics profile and uh, while we're doing keyword research, we essentially can create a new profile and make notes of things that we find or discover as we're moving through the process. In the Keyword Decision Grid, the first thing we see here is a filter. And this filter basically allows us to filter by keyword, by competing pages ranges, by silo type, you can see all silo categories supporting articles, and cost. We can actually filter by keyword cost. We can delete all the keywords in the grid, and we can show all the keywords that qualify and all the keywords that don't qualify. If we need to add a single keyword, we simply just fill in the keyword and the metadata, and we can add it. We can export all our keyword data, we can export the blueprint, or we can actually view the Silo Framework blueprint in grid view. Uh, this is the keyword grid. Once we import our keywords, we'll see all the information over here.